Hi guys and welcome to the video. Hope you're all doing great today. I'm Nick from noob to pro and we've been talking all about the different creatures on Ark. Today it's all about the Parasaur. So let's go find one. We're looking at the Parasaur spawn map for the island and as you can see they are very common and spawn throughout the majority of the map. Okay, then we found one. So let's just check out its level. It's a level 20. Okay, as you can see, you can go right up to the parasaur. It won't attack you. In fact, you can hit a parasaur. It won't attack you. You can steal a parasaur's egg. It won't attack you. You can do anything you wish to a parasaur and it will not attack you. All it will do is run away. So... Bearing that in mind, I'm going to use a bowler to help knock it out because they are quite fast runners. So you hit it, if, unless you've got a way of catching it, you, you know, it's going to get away from you quite easily. So I'm going to use a bowler, as I've said. You can use any form of weapon. You can use a club, you can use trank arrows if you're a bit higher level, but I'm going to be using a slingshot. So, you get it bowlered, you pull your slingshot out, and you aim for headshots. Headshots are more effective than body shots. We're getting 24, 26, and only 14 from the body shots. So, we'll try and get this done before the bowler runs out. If the bowler runs out too quickly, then it will run away like we mentioned and then it will be a chasing game but it's out okay we're gonna pop some meteor berry in there to get it tamed now usually we'd have a quick look around make sure that there's no carnivores in the area that are going to come along and wreck our tame however we are on herbivore island he here and we know that's not going to happen today so that's great so, as I've said, I'm using Meteor Berries to tame. Now, you could use Crops, you could use Kibble, you could use Mixed Berries. Now, I'll put a list up on screen as to the most effective to the least effective there for you. Another quick look around. And we'll check out its stats. So, it's got 280 health. You can see by hitting it with with the stones from the slingshot i actually took quite a lot of health off it it actually nearly died so you want to be a bit careful there okay so stamina is quite important they have a lot of stamina they it doesn't run out very quickly and it does regen very quickly so 585 stamina is quite good there its weight is an important one for these guys 537 i might do a bit of work on that to try and get that up You've got your melee damage. You don't want to be taming these guys for fighting, but it has got the melee damage of 105 and a movement speed of 100. Okay. So we are nearly halfway tamed, but I'm not going to keep you hanging around just watching it tamed. So I'll get back to you in just a moment. Okay then, here she is tamed out at level 29, just as expected. So we'll have a quick look at her stats. So 320 health. She got a bit into her health. She got some into her stamina there as well. So that's great. Now her weight is an important one. Like I mentioned, she got a little bit into her weight. Not too much, but that's okay. She got some into her melee damage and some into her movement speed. Now these guys seem to want to interrupt the video. So I'll get a saddle on her and get out of here. Now, speaking of the saddle, you learn that at level 9, it's made from wood, fibre and hide. Very noisy, those stegs. So we'll get out of their way. Now, what have we tamed this one for? Now, they are okay at gathering berries. They're not the best but they're a lot better than you are with your hands you collect just a handful here a handful there these guys as you can see just for a few seconds work there they've gathered what a hundred or so 
berries there and some seeds. Okay, thanks for that, Bronto. Everybody seems to want to be uh, making a lot of noise around here today. So, the other thing you want to get these guys for is their weight carrying. Now, when you roll a game and you're out there, you're trying to chop trees down, you want to build yourself a thatch base or a wood base even, and you find yourself over overweight quite a lot. Get one of these guys, put your weight into them, and you can carry on there. They're absolutely brilliant for carrying the weight. As you can see, I've got this girl on sprint, and the stamina is going down real, real slow. I'll stop, and it'll go right back up there pretty quickly. There you go, it just shot back up. So they're really good for their stamina as well. Now, the next thing I want to tell you about, I'm going to get, I'm going to have to go over to where it's a little more dangerous. We'll get some predators around us and we'll be able to see something else going on there. So I'll get back to you in just a moment. Okay, then we've come back over the water and we've come to this area there's usually a raptor or two in, fa in fact there's some raptors just over there so that's great i'm going to be able to show you they're an early warning system you go onto his wheel here alert settings and enable turret mode and as you see on his head it's all yellow there he is now scanning. He's noticed an enemy in the area. Now, there will be a red dot. You can see it just in the center screen there. And that's where it found an enemy. So that's a bit of an early warning system for you, which is great. But there's also something else which I'd played off for quite some time before I actually realized this. Where were those raptors that I just saw? Now, it's not often you'd go looking for a raptor on a parasaur. If there's two or three raptors there, they're going to rip you apart. But there's the one there. So they're coming at me. And, oh, I honk at him and he runs away. And so do, so do his friends. Now, I'm going to get out of here because that honk will keep that that raptor running away for maybe 20 seconds or so it's not meant as a, a permanent thing you scare them initially they run away but they might come back so if you look at the top right of the screen right now there is a cooldown it's showing and that goes for two minutes it will before it will allow you to do that hunk again so you do that, the raptors run away, you get out of there. Because you can't do it again straight away. Final thoughts on the Parasaur then. They're a very easy tame. They are useful for collecting berries in the early game. Though there are better tames out there for that. They're great for carrying a lot of resources. The early warning system and their scare ability is very useful throughout. What I didn't say earlier is that you can set the parasaur to scare creatures even when you are dismounted and the list of creatures going across screen right now are the creatures that the parasaur can scare off. All that's left for me to say is if you've learnt anything from this video please hit that like button, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any more of our videos. Thank you very much for watching and... Goodbye.